Chloe Mercado uses different strategies to stimulate and motivate the whole of her year two class at the beginning of a science investigation. AST Daryl Joyce then comments on Chloe's approach. Now, here's the car, here's the ram. I was wondering, how could we change the distance that the car travels? Have a little think about it quickly. It's like everybody. Just turn around, face me. Who would like to give me something that they thought of that could make the car go in a, a different distance, go further or shorter? Imogen. You could put it higher. What could you put higher? The ramp. Oh, excellent. What do you think is going to happen? Who would like to tell me their prediction? <laughs> um, Lucy. Um, when you do the highest, um, one, then the car will go down faster than the other um, heights and it will go further. Right. Do you want to let it go, Bailey? <laughs> <laughs> wow. It is about 25 <laughs> centimetres. So, middle right. Ooh. Right. Final one. Are we ready? Yes. yes. Everyone ready? Yes. yes. Right. Release the car. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 77. It's about 75 yes. centimetres. Yes. Hands up. Who made a correct prediction? Oh, wow. It was my favourite part because I guessed and I got it right. It's really nice to see a whole class teaching science teaching activity which demonstrates brilliant teaching strategies. There were several in use there. She had the whole class gathered together and watching. And she's got the whole class grouped in such a way that they can all see what's going on. How could we change the distance that the car travels? Have a little think about it quickly. It's like it's like she, what she's done, she's done talking partners there. So rather than just being her delivering monologue, what she's done is get the children to talk about what they can see and what they can feel and what they think is about to happen. Who would like to give me something that they thought of that could make the car go in a, a different distance, go further or shorter? Imogen. You could put it higher. She also does lots of questioning, and although the children might answer with a yes or no. She leads it a bit further than that. What could you put higher? The ram. Oh, excellent. What do you think is going to happen? She's using a lot of actions. Come on, come on, she says. What do you think of this? What do you think of that? So she is obviously as interested as the children are. Do you want to let it go, Bailey? <laughs> oh. oh, the children reach forward. How far has it gone? How far has it gone? It's, it's a really good teaching strategy. The children at the back can see, the children at the front can see, and they're taking part. 25 <laughs> centimetres. She makes good use of ICT because the children can actually see what's happening behind them. So it's not just writing on a bis bit of paper that she'll show them later. Release the car. <laughs> Ooh. What this is going to mean is that when, when they actually get their, their data that they all work together for, they're going to take that, they're going to work with it. But more than that, they'll have learned an awful lot because of the teaching strategies that she has used in that whole session.